It's good to see all of you. I'm Jonathan Young, as you probably know, and I am so goddamn excited to be here because for the first time ever, I am designing a custom guitar with Kiesel guitars. I'm so happy to be here. I'm I, like, I have been so nervous about sponsorships in the past, Chris, because a lot of times they're they're not mutually beneficial. You know what I mean? A lot of times it's like, you, you know, I get paid a little bit or, you know, I kind of have to put up with a company that is making me roll my eyes. But with you guys, it's perfect because you make mm. these beautiful, beautiful guitars that are already everything I want in a guitar. And mm. you guys are all based out of Southern California. So, it's so awesome. Yeah. So I drove 30 minutes up to the Kiesel oh. factory to pick up these loner guitars to scratch the itch while uh -huh. I wait for these customs. I'm so excited. Well, Jonathan, thanks for making the long drive, you know, yeah. coming on up <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and hanging out with us. And, uh, like, it's, uh, it's wonderful to, to have you come on and be so excited. And I know what you mean. Sometimes you, you get a deal and there are deals that are made based off of like actually making that decision which is yeah. like, oh, that means that you're choosing between something. But with you, it was the obvious choice. Like you, you know, you were excited. You had already known. And as soon as you had one in your hands, it was kind of like, all right, well, we just got to figure out how long, what, how many, what are we going to do? Just the details. Welcome to the family officially. And thank you uh, for having me as a guest on your stream. Yeah. I'm so happy that you're here. And uh, so everybody, this is Chris. Uh, he works at Kiesel Guitars, and he actually has his own podcast, which is incredibly successful uh, with a, a bunch of incredibly prestigious guests from the, the metal and guitar communities, if you are interested. Yeah, check it out. Players Pick Podcast. Players Pick Podcast. Check out Chris's podcast. Support Kiesel Guitars. Follow them for mouthwateringly beautiful guitars. And I am going to... See if I can share my screen here so that you can... I probably just completely messed up the window. <laughs> yeah, I definitely just completely messed up the window. Oh, man, I have to quit and reopen Zoom before I can screen share with you. So let me let me, okay. <laughs> let me open a new meeting. I'm so sorry. That's <laughs> okay. Send me another link and okay. I'll, I'll pop Sweet. right back on. Okay, hold on. I'm actually going to mute for a second and take this phone call because this might be a delivery for me. And we're back. We're back. Okay, let me set the set up this screen sharing. Hopefully, it works. I gotta send a message to my editor because we're expecting a delivery of fake tree bark for a music <laughs> video. <laughs> Real tree bark wouldn't work. No, like it, it's like rubber, like okay. rubber textured tree bark. So we're I gonna see. make like fake trees in my garage for a music video. <laughs> can you head outside and figure out where the tree bark people can put the tree bark? I'm in a meeting. <laughs> and you'll be like, I'm going to blow you up here a little bit so I can put you down in this corner. Okay. Here we go. Let's talk about guitars. Sorry for the technical difficulties, everybody. The technical difficulties. <laughs> so, so, Jonathan, first lesson. Yes. Some guitars, they have headstocks. Yeah. Some, some guitars, they don't. You know? So, let's start there. Are we building you a guitar with a headstock? We are building me a headless guitar, Chris. Ooh. We are definitely building me a headless guitar. The future is here. It is now. I'm excited. I am, yeah. That was, as soon as I saw all of your headless guitars, I was like, <laughs> this is it. So, for those of you that don't know, I shouldn't have put down the guitar. That was my first mistake. <laughs> so, for those of you that don't know, guitars normally have a head here, as you can see on this picture. This is the head of the guitar. And... That's fine. Like, there's a reason why that worked for, for, you know, dozens of years of electric guitar design. There's a reason why it's designed that way. But we've gotten better at, at making, you know, stuff like this, hardware, and everything. The, the main reason why this, this head is up here is to stretch these strings and tune them. And you can actually just put the tuning uh, knobs down here on the bridge. And then you can condense the guitar a lot. And if I don't know if you guys have been on my stream before, but if you'll notice, I have a I have a computer screen like right here. So every time I Twitch stream with a, a <laughs> guitar that has a head, I'm always cracking my own computer screen if I'm 
rocking out at all, which sucks. And, you know, I inherited some back problems from my father, bless his heart. And the lighter the guitar is, the easier it is for me to play it for long periods of time. So, and I got to pick a body shape here. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. So I'm going to get into the guitar builder. This, this website is insane. I, I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself here. But just so everybody knows, Kiesel is doing stuff that has never been done before. Not just with the, their guitar designs, but with their website. You can literally just build a guitar like you're building a character in a video game on their website. Like, just spec it out exactly like you want. It's a, it's a great place to just hang out and build potential guitars. Yeah. And screenshot them and share them to your friends. Be like, look, if I had the cash right now, this is what I'd be ordering. Yeah. You know, it's one of those vibes. Yeah, I am. I am going to. I'm going to struggle with this. I. I. My ADHD <laughs> decision paralysis is about to hit me. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I saw a picture on the Kiesel Instagram. Okay. And I think I. I think I know exactly what finish I want, but I want it on a different body. Okay. So okay. I'm gonna Let's see if we can do that. I, I'm gonna find that picture. I have a couple I have a couple ideas that I really love, but I saw this. I saw oh. this finish and I just lost my mind. <laughs> this is like the most That's beautiful. Insane, this is the most beautiful guitar I've ever seen. But I want this on a headless. So and okay. I I love this like strip. So I'm torn because this is the Vader body type and it doesn't have that bevel. Right, right. So, Osiris is going to be the one. Osiris is going to be your primary one that's going to allow for that. Should be right there next to. Yeah, but I also saw. I think that this is the Leia, or no, this is the Zeus. That's a Zeus. Yeah, Zeus can do it too. Yeah. Yeah, Zeus can do it, and I think that Leia might be able to do it as well. Le yeah, maybe. May yeah, maybe I'm close. mixing up. Maybe I'm mixing up Leia no. and Zeus. Is Le Leia has a, a small amount of beveling. It, it 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 you can do like the the contour this is lines. This Zeus. The Zeus yeah. has got the big bevel. Yeah. Z the Zeus, the Osiris, Ares, SCB, even the Vanquish, they all have like long bevel lines that yeah. can be done with that what they call like a deep binding effect is what that is. Yeah. I love the size and the compactness of the Vader. Do you know off the top of your head what the difference is? Between Vader and Zeus? Like, in size. Yeah, uh, I can give you a little visual here now. So, I've got... Actually, I can't see uh, what you can see right now. Uh, but, oh, yeah, I can see it. We're fine. We're good. So, so, so your Vader here, um, and then this is the Zeus. As a matter of fact, I'll put the Zeus kind of in... i put the Zeus in the back. So, they're, they're roughly... We're roughly around the same size. The, oh, wow. The Vader is tiny bit smaller like the bridge part kind of goes in a little bit more and the, the 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 zeus is gonna like fill in the bridge part a little bit and where are the necks up there are the necks like flush up top i would say that the the zeus is a little bit taller it's a tiny bit taller okay like how many like inches like, up there like not maybe maybe half inch okay because that's it, nothing yeah, yeah so that would just be out here yeah the body it's just that the body is just the tiniest bit bigger Right, so yeah, you're really in a good spot. Now, the, the main thing you're gonna gonna notice there is, in these is that one's a bolt on, oh. one's the neck through, and so so is the I, Osiris. Osiris is gonna be a bolt on as well. Okay, so um, can you can you explain to the chat what the main differences are between bolt on and neck through? Yeah, of course. Uh, so so bolt on, well neck. Let's go start with the neck through because that's what that's what you're holding right there. Yes. If you take a look here, you'll see. That the neck literally goes all the way through, right? So you have two pieces on the side of the body here. These on this one, it's particular. This is swamp ash. Then we've got a seven-piece neck, or it's a five-piece neck running through the center. Now, <clears throat> you know, uh, neck through gives you tends to give you a longer, juicier sustain. It's super stable because your neck runs through the body. It does not just connected to the body it actually runs into the body and so vibrates into the wood uh, directly through the, the, you know, the gluing process, right? Right. Now, your uh, bolt-on 
is uh, the characteristic is tends to be more snappy, more uh, like kind of a, like it has a little more of attack uh, that tends to oh so you and you have. Well, uh, this a th this isn't a Kiesel, but I just to show what a what a bolt on neck looks like. Actually, that's a set neck. Oh, that, well, that, that's like is that a PRS? Yeah, this is a PRS. Yeah, I guess shows you how much I know about uh, <laughs> building guitars. <laughs> it's a it, it's a set that should be a set or a set through um, situation. Uh, so, but the but the bolt on. You know, we 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 angle the bevel we, and everything back here so it hits the palm just just right. It's not like a big block like the old school um, bolt ons like from Fender and whatnot had just a big block here and you had to if you wanted to do this you had to kind of right. reach your whole palm around it. You don't have that with a Kiesel, so you're not you're not going to you know really give up uh, much comfortability if you go with a bolt on here, right? So right. that's the good news. It's just with the you can't quite replicate a neck through right. joint, right? So that's a really smooth and completely all access. Can't go wrong. It's just a little different. Right. So less sustain on the neck through, but more attack. Potentially, right. Yeah. Potentially. So, so, you know, you, you choose a certain t you, uh, set of tone woods, you're going to have plenty of sustain anyway, and you're not going to notice. It's going to be negligible differences. But if you made the exact same guitar, yeah. bolt on and neck through, you would probably notice a little more singing quality in the neck through and a little more like top end attack and uh, to to the bolt-on. I feel like a lot of guitarists would like that extra sustain, especially if they're lead guitar players, but I'm like, I'm, I come from drums, so mm. I, I'm all about attack. If I could ask a favor, I do need to, to answer this phone call because there's a delivery guy in my driveway, but I'll be right yeah. back. If you want to tell the chat about uh, a little bit about Kiesel, take this opportunity yeah. <clears throat> and I will be right back. For those of you that might not know, Kiesel is based out of Southern California, Escondido. Used to be Carvin guitars back in the day. And about six, seven years ago, they made the choice to uh, split and use the family name. Family name is Kiesel. And the, in the, actually, the original name of uh, the company, uh, Lowell Kiesel, founded it in the 40s. I can't remember exactly which year. And they originally made pickups. Uh, it was one of their first things. And they've always been like catalog direct to consumer uh, style of business. And we're still the same these days, although we've done away with the catalog. Some of you might remember for years through the 80s and 90s and early 2000s where they printed the catalog and it would they'd ship out. If you ever put your email in or put your address in or something before email even, um, you would get a catalog and you could look through. As soon as we had a website, um, there was the opportunity to kind of build it. Usually you had to call in and tell our, one of our salespeople the type of specs and type of guitar you're looking for, and then they'd help you put it together. And as you can see these days, we have this fancy new website that uh, is serving us really well. You can choose your model, your base model, whether it's, you know, a standard electric. We do a slimline acoustic line. So there is that option. You can build it all on here. You can pay for it and order it right here on the website without ever talking to anybody. Now, um, which a lot of people do, a lot of our repeat customers are... Uh, ones that do such a thing because they kind of already know what they're getting. If you're a first time buyer, first time orderer from uh, Kiesel, then I always suggest to like build it on the website, take screenshots of everything and then call in to be sure, you know, uh, the, the options that you're asking for are compatible. I mean, sometimes you'll get one little suggestion from one of our salespeople that says, Oh, um, actually, are you sure you want to do these this style of frets with that style of you know of fretboard, and and all of a sudden they'll make sure, they'll they'll give you an idea that makes the build that much better. the The cool thing is that it's direct to you, you know. So you just call us, you just meant, you talk to us directly. There's no individual dealers out there. We're very personable, and we we do our best to, uh, you know, uh, be we're all everybody on the phone are players. They all play guitars. They're all really good players. That's the other awesome option here is to, to consult with a real player that's been uh, building, uh, been in and around the process of building guitars for many, many years before you pull the trigger and say, okay, I want the red one with the cool deep binding effect and I want these kind of pickups and all that stuff. There's this uh, 
kind of a really cool culture around the company um, in that we we also have like a really active Facebook group that is probably 20,000 plus or something like that. We have so many people in there. So as, as soon as somebody puts a build in, what, we te- what people tend to do is go and drop in their screenshots in, into the group to be, get excited and be like, hey, I just bought this or, or I'm thinking about ordering this. And then that's what uh, gets everybody excited. So everybody weighs in. So a lot of times these guitars end up being built by the community because we weigh in and we say, hey, has anybody else bought a Leia with a, a humbucker and two single coils, you know? And did you ever think about putting the, the switch in the different position, this and that, you know, like people, the, the kind of the hive mind helps build guitars. That's really cool. And while you're there, there's always, almost every day in the Facebook Kiesel group, there's, there's somebody posting about their new build. Sometimes that's me. Lately, it's been me fairly often because I've had a few come in in a row. Um, I just got this uh, new telly up here. This is what we call it a retro solo. This was the other fresh build that just came in. It's uh, an Adelos, our Strat style guitar. This one is a uh, uh, Matt White with the uh, red tortoiseshell pit guard, all gold hardware. Uh, it's got a rosewood board, uh, walnut neck, and we did gold frets on this one too. And I had them do a full fret scallop, so kind of went full engve on this one. It's a little bit hard to notice the details maybe over the internet, over the stream, but we do offer that as one of the options. You can get a full fret scallop or you can get a 12 uh, to 24 or 12 to 22 fret scallop. Like there are options for that, which finally having one of these guitars for myself, I have to say that um, going forward, I will probably always get my top 12 fret scallop. The tapping is so much easier. Your finger lands on the note a little bit easier and cleaner and you know the full fret scallop is just kind of a an acquired taste i guess you could say um and once you once once you've been playing on something like this it's and you go back to other guitars it is it's a little bit of an adjustment um i can see why uh ingve you know made that choice and just like never went back because he just committed to it it does it does allow you to play with a much lighter uh approach with the fingers some might that are very heavy handed may find a full scalloped fretboard to be like impossible to keep in tune, especially if you go super light strings. Uh, I have my friend Stratton Marshall, who is uh, a phenomenal player uh, who ordered a full scallop. And then he immediately took the nines off of it and put a set of eights on it. So he's like eight through, I don't know what that is, maybe a 39, I think. And he was the one more than anybody that kind of inspired me to build this one with full scallops. He, I haven't put the eights on it yet. I'm kind of scared. Uh, we'll see what happens. Chris, but, thank uh, you so much. I owe you one. This is the biggest truck I have ever had deliver anything to my house right now. And he was no like, worries. he called me. He's like, I can't find your house. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> he was like around the corner. He was like, I don't know how I'm going to get into your driveway. And we had termite people because we have termites in our goddamn house oh shit and the termite guy was here today too and thank god the termite guy left at the exact moment that this delivery truck started pulling in otherwise i don't know what i would have done i i messaged my wife i was like you got to figure this out for me i'm I'm in a call with this guitar company and she's like i don't know what you're talking about (laughs) like oh my god (laughs) oh man oh Yeah, well, my, my chat's like, when where can we follow where can we follow Chris on Twitch instead of John? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, hit me up on Instagram. You yeah. know, uh, at, at Siege C Triple Three J. You can find me. It's a, it's you know kind of my little moniker uh, or nickname. And you can find you can find me at, at Players Pick Podcast on YouTube. That's an easy way to get a hold of me. But Instagram and YouTube are pretty easy. Awesome. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with the Zeus. I'm gonna go with the bolt on neck. I think I, I gotta just I gotta just pick that and move on. Otherwise, I'm gonna sit here looking at the body <laughs> shapes all day. Do we do wood next, or what do we do? So I would go to uh, yeah, body wood first. Okay. Do you have an idea? Do you want to replicate something that you have in the the Vader there, or um, something that you have in mind? Do you want to see wood? Are you gonna paint the body? Well, I just for looks, I just want this. <laughs> oh right, all right. We're yeah. working on that. We're yeah. working on that. So yeah. that has a a black uh, 
like back and sides option there. So okay, because the edge is backed out. So we're not worried about the wood for looks' sake here. We're gonna okay. look. At, we're gonna use the wood for either tonality or for weight. Okay, so that's top wood. Is the what's gonna be the looks? Yeah, we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, get yeah, to yeah. the top wood okay. in a moment. So, yeah. Um, so swamp ash is super popular if you want to keep it in the. I mean, it's already a lighter guitar because it's headless. If you like the lighter feel. Um, then I would encourage a swamp ash. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, whatever's lighter, definitely for the body wood. Because you know, okay. I'm I'm gonna be distorting the the crap out of this. I'm not like super worried as much about like the tone as I am about the weight. Swamp ash is great though. It's great for metal anyway. So like, yeah, we're it's a good thing. So now I'm gonna check the top wood. And so I believe if you s scroll down, I think what the, the what we're going for here is gonna be. I think it's might be check the burled maple look here. And chamber body is an option, right? So like it would makes it even a little bit, I wouldn't do three piece body, not necessarily worth okay. it here. A chamber body is a good option. Is, you know, the, ch is the chamber body gonna stop me from doing any other options since it's, no. okay. No. Cause no. you mentioned that like the semi hollows in a, a different call that we had like prevents you from. Yeah, that's a different story. That's a different yeah, situation. Yeah. yeah. So um, we could probably do like this same type of finish and the, changing this top wood would just kind of change the texture. Correct. Right. It'll change the, the change the look of that centerpiece. Yeah. You can look at some of these other ones. That that burled ma maple is going to do that look probably the best. But what I would do is I would I would choose burled maple for now, and then okay. let's come back and we can switch this out once we have the effect on there yeah. that we want. Yeah. Right. When we get close to this thing. Looking at finish, um, you can go. I think that that's a tobacco sunburst potentially is that what or a classic sunburst is that you want a little red in it um i think that that looks like a that a, looks a, a little red to me. yeah it does look a little bit more oh man yeah that's i mean that's already do i want the red Dang. <laughs> oh no dude this is this is gonna this... kill me this is gonna kill me and there's all these other options too oh <laughs> Oh it's my crazy. god, dude! It's just it's just like building a character in a video game. Or the honey burst is cool too, and you could do honey burst with black edges. Or oh my um, god! For shits and giggles, for now, I would say to check the tobacco yeah. sunburst. Yeah. And then let's go to uh, rear side finish and Ooh. black back and sides. Yep. I gotta do seven strings. I forgot to check seven strings, and now I gotta I gotta <laughs> go back. That's okay. That's okay. You gonna do multi scale as well? Uh, what does that do? Well, that's what you have now is a multi-scale, the fan fret. Oh, yes. Yes, so fan tune. frets. Yeah. 100%. Dude, there's so many options. This is incredible. I know. <laughs> we just launched this, you know, a handful of months ago. Oh, yeah. And so there's a lot of little things that we're still kind of sorting out. If we can do the build and then let them know, like, I want to do that. Of course. That cut thing. That yeah, would be I sick. don't have a problem with that. We can definitely do that, and we'll show the, it will show the top there. So yeah. like, I'm I'm just not finding it on even on the areas right now, which is kind of interesting. I thought for sure it was there. Dude, I bet I bet it's just hiding in one of these menus. It absolutely has to be because like, we built a nine string with it just the other day. I selected a different top wood, and now it's giving me a ton of extra finish options. Yeah, no wait, is this it? The three piece, the visual distinction between top wood and body wood, or no? That, it, that, in, that inserts a little black line. You could, yeah, that, that may actually open it up. See that little black line? Yep. Is there now? So that's distinguishing that. So that could be a part of the visual look. And then if you choose, go back to your translucent colors. Yeah, if we don't find it, obviously. Whoa! Oh, whoa! White crackle. Whoa! Over that look. It's kind of sick. Yo, like that. Snow. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my God. You know what? Well, actually, th this brings up a, a, a cool thing that I actually really love is that doing natural wood looking vibe like underneath a crackle, either white or black. If you do white or black oh, with a, like a, wow. if you take off the, like the finish off of that, it will just have natural wood coming underneath that, which is kind of a really interesting effect that we've done a few times. It almost looks like it's like relict. Yeah. So that can be an option. Oh Maybe my god, dude. I could that. I could sit here all day. Or you could do like a uh some sort of uh like a metallic underneath that. 
could do a color oh. shift underneath a white crackle. Like that's an option. So, so do, gonna... do I have to take off the top wood to do a metallic finish? Not necessarily, uh, but maybe. Uh, you might just have to choose none and then go back to finish. Oh, now it's. I think I I put I stacked too many options on and now it, it it's not letting me take off the finish. So you can always choose trash can and it'll start you on that model. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Again, right? Yeah, we're getting it. We're learning. We're learning. Yeah, we're learning yeah. how the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can choose metallic colors. You could choose like a purple color shift or something red metallic, and then you could do a black crackle or white crackle over it. I think I think I want the I think I want the natural wood. I think that's a good idea. But you could do yeah, and I mean I'm just giving you yeah yeah some stuff. But the if you get like a rustic something, what we've done is kind of like a a, a darker stain, like a natural wood stain or something, and then done yeah like that, like something like that with the mahogany or what was that one? Yeah, Maybe black limba. Black limba. And they did they did like a black crackle over it, and it got all like oh interesting dude looking. the quilted maple oh no I know oh dude it's hard I've, to beat it's that's hard to beat. that's hard to beat man. <laughs> Oh, dude, I had seen that finish on guitars before, and I didn't know what it was called. Aquaburst. The Night Burst and the Aqua Burst. Like, I've I, got a... This is the Aqua Burst here, this one. This, oh, but he's it's a got one, one right there. He's got one right there. And that's and then that's Aqua Burst on the back on the Swamp Ash with a zebra wood cover. So that's, Oh, my God, dude. I'm, like, overwhelmed right now. <laughs> I, so, feel, yeah. I feel like for my first guitar... Because I'm definitely going to get, like, a crazy aqua burst sometime. You know what I mean? Like, everybody's sure. got to have the aqua burst, right? I feel like I need something that that is, like, browns and reds and, mm -hmm. and black. You know what I mean? Like, just something, like, dark and mean. Because that's what a lot of my music is. You know? I, I don't want to be, like, in a snowy forest that I'm building in my garage. And <laughs> I, I, I don't want to be, like, in a snowy forest and have, like, a bright pink and blue guitar. You know what I mean? Like, I want, like, the, the sunset colors. That, sure like, you know what? We got pink sparkle, dude. We dude, can do it. don't with, tempt with me, crackle, dude. White uh, crackle over pink sparkle. Dude, one of these days I'm going to have snowy to, like, forest. make a video and just get a pink sparkle guitar just, like, a, as a joke. The, like, what, what won't be a joke, though, is that you'll fall in love with it, and then you won't oh. be able to play anything else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, accidentally. Dude, so funny, though. Like, uh, I was uh, streaming with Josh Josh Travis, uh, who's our nine-string guy, right? And he, he was like, oh, the whole process of the last couple of months, he's like, bro, I love all these guitars you sent me. It's all so cool, man. It's the one thing you're never going to get me on is a f***ing headless, man. No, oh. I'm like... And I'm like, oh, really? Oh, yeah? Is that true? Okay, cool. No, you know, keep talking your shit, man. And then he's like, hey, man, the other couple of days later, he's like, hey, uh, do you got an A string I could borrow for this thing? And I'm like, actually, all we have in stock right now is a headless. Yeah. It's like, oh, man. I go, dude, but it's black and it's like stealthy. He's like, okay, I'll try it. For days now, he's been texting me. He's like, I hate that this guitar is so amazing. Yeah. This guitar. Yeah. He's oh. like, it's so small and diminutive. Like, it just doesn't, it doesn't, it, it's not right that it should be this good. I'm like, yeah. I, I, I went through that process, too. I'm, I'm only 27. You know, I see these headless guitars, and I'm like, this is the f***ing future, man. This is, this is it. Definitely. You know? That's actually cool what you got going right there. Is that still like the quilted maple underneath? Yeah, this is, uh, I think, dude, I've, no. if I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is uh, quilted maple with the, I have the regular sunburst now. Dude, Let's see I'm, the burled maple. Put, 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 see the burled maple. Or no, that's probably burled, burled maple. Oh, dude, this, dude, the quilted maple is so sick, dude. I can't, I can't see it well enough from here to, yeah, to really tell I can, the difference here, on that I can, snow. Maybe I can zoom in. Oh, then I then I lose my options. Okay, so talk to me about this white crackle thing, because that yeah, so looks so sick. But like, what is it? So it's a really it's a special process that like uh, it's a special kind of paint that we use that is heat sensitive, right? So we we do the or whatever finish is going to go on underneath it. We we spray that. We let it sit. We we make sure it's all you know ready to go, and then the finishing move before clear is going to be like spraying on the special white or black paint and then our painter in the booth you'll see him when he does it we have some videos up and he, he pulls out like this really cool like uh you know, hair dryer 
yeah. and points at it. As he does that, it just all shifts into this this you know random shapes. Dude. And so they can kind of guide it into like small and big chunks, but it's really kind of like a what yeah. you get is what you get, you know. I have fact, I have never seen a guitar like this that looks like this. Bro, check out my crackle. Oh. So this is a, this is a two tone crackle right here. This has got um, the base is uh, like a hot fiery pink. The yep. secondary color is purple, and then there's a black crackle over it. You can oh. kind of maybe see it a little bit better on this side. Yo, that's crazy, dude. So you can actually say, "I want a second color variation on your two on your two tone." Now some colors don't mix. It's like right. colors that are kind of close like this is kind of best. We did do one for Stratton Marshall that where we did it a white base and then we did a purple secondary color and then black crackle over that. And that came out really cool. The white doesn't show up as super white. It's right. just like less blue or less purple, right? And so, but it's it, it, it's a really cool effect and can be done uh, in a few different combinations. Dude, that's insane. I've never seen a guitar that looks like this before and that is yeah, that's making me feel things. If we can figure out how to get to this finish, that'd be sick. Totally. But I've never seen anybody with a guitar like this and and it like you said, dude, I'm from Minnesota, you know? <laughs> like I'm from the north and my wife yeah. is Canadian, you know? Like uh, th this looks like snow and that's sick. Like that's right on brand for me. <laughs> I love it. The quilted maple tops are like so spendy and so delicious that everybody, if you were to put that order in right now, we, you, you get a call from our sales team. Right. Going, uh, bro. Um, right. Probably, probably not. Right. Like, <laughs> but I would check out, you could keep the finish and check out swamp ash top or like one of the other tops that are. Ooh, the zebra slightly, wood looks kind of cool with this. That, that would be neat. I, I like, yeah, I like the woods that like bring out the finish more. Flame maple, zebra wood, swamp at one one piece swamp ash, maybe even that bur poplar burl, could even kind of give add more texture to it. Because this is this loner is either poplar or buckeye burl, right? I think it's buckeye. Yeah, it looks like buckeye. I kind of like the zebra wood because it runs parallel to the neck. Yeah, dude, I got a I got one of those too, un un unpainted, but. Um, Here's a zebra wood top for you, just yeah. like in real real time, right? And this has got purple heart on fretboard. Oh, oh you know? dude, a purple fretboard? That sounds sick. And that's not dyed, right? That is purple wood. Oh, no dye. dude. So, and then check out the purple heart in the walnut on the back of the neck. And then I got a purple heart cavity here just to kind of match it all up. I'm a this kid in a candy store right now, dude. This is insane. It's good to have good representations to kind of see you know firsthand like oh the wood actually looks like that because on the builder you know it will come close but yeah like there's so many variations in these we we do our best to try and choose really sweet tops for everybody but they're gonna look drastically different from time to time the one that you picked out uh when we started the session they might even call that a crotch flame because <laughs> yeah. it's like because it's cut angled in you know so there's all these kind of different variations in like little nicknames for the different kinds of flame so when did they do so explain to me like when they do this bevel and correct me if i'm wrong it looks like they do that last because it looks like they have to finish the rest of the guitar and then cut that out of it so in the beginning uh yeah the the guitar is uh well with the body's done it's it's cnc'd out and that bevel is taken out but you can order that same guitar with bevel delete some people don't like the bevel right some people want more of a traditional squared off kind of upper uh part right so you can order an aries without a bevel not you can't order a zeus without a bevel but so the air areas in particular we do okay so i have a uh, this is feel free to shoot me down on this okay because okay. this because i don't know how this process works and you do yeah <laughs> um so would it be possible to keep this to keep this bevel without the white to like uh, oh I see like does saying. that make sense like me like i like don't have know the if, bevel be black yeah like have the bevel be black so you have this like bevel that's like a solid line like even if you just covered up the bevel with like painter's tape before you did the white crackle you know what i mean potentially potentially i'll have to that's a 
That's a I'll ask our painter and see answer. Okay. Theoretically, uh, yeah, you know, we tape things off all the time. I, I, had, I can't remember a time when I saw a partial crackle. Right. But, but, but that might be interesting. I'm going to put a note down here. The main thing that I like about the bevel is the distinction, like that bold line that cuts through the, 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 the rest right. of the look, because I just think that looks really sexy. And what if we did what if we did that just that line? Yeah, just that line like just or or even like let that like there there'd be a couple ways you could do it. You could either do what you did with this bevel and finish that bevel differently and then still try to avoid the white crackle on it or you could literally just paint over the bevel line or or uh tape over the bevel line before you do the white crackle right. and then it right. would keep the you'd be able to see that wood finish arcing through here on that curve. That could be so sick. I really want to try this white crackle because the more I look at it, the more I'm like, I've never seen anything like this in my goddamn life. I got to have Super it. Cool. I got to have Super it, man. Cool. <laughs> Dude, I'm glad that you found it. I'm glad you found it and fell in love because white crackle doesn't come out very often. And usually it only comes, people get it with like funky colors. They're not looking for it to look like snow on a, on yeah. a like a, on a tobacco burst guitar. Yeah. You know, like, which I, uh, admire your engineering. Thank here. you. Like this is cool. <laughs> this is why we collaborate. Yeah. It's, you know. It's okay. So, out, like, thinner neck profile. What is that? Is that literally just a thinner neck? Some models we only offer the the regular neck profile or a thinner neck profile. On this one, it only you only have regular or thinner. On okay. some of them, you can get a thicker and a double thick also. Which, so when it's thinner, uh, is that the height of the neck or is that the width of the neck? So that's front to back. That's like you know your thumb to your fingertips uh, that thickness. Okay, I think back, I right? think I do want thinner. Yeah. So for example, and I'll just give you. I don't know, see if you can see this, but this headless HD, which is uh, semi chrome purple, by yeah. the way, and it's a super dope purple. Beautiful. Um, if you can potentially see a little bit here, the, at the top here, the neck comes out just a little bit. It's like there's a little bit of a lip. I don't know if yeah. you can see that, but this is a double thick neck. Oh, okay. Double thick. So, so there's a it's it's one little you know extra bit more than a thicker neck. Yeah. Our regular neck is gonna be just flush with this headpiece. A thick neck would come just past it, and then now this is a double thick. So we're talking about very minute adjustments to the thickness. But in the grand scheme, you know, us players that have been playing a long time, we end up noticing little things like this, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I think uh, a, a standard neck is probably the easiest thing to go with. The thinner one can be a little bit of a, an acquired taste, unless you're already an Ibanez guy, like Ibanez and some of the Jacksons. I do I, like I, the thinner Ibanez necks because I have such, like, I have such a bad back that it, like, transfers mm. into my into my, like if, if I have to reach too far or anything, mm -hmm. like the, the thinner I can get the neck, the happier I'll be. And if you're doing seven string, I always go thinner on a, on a, on a, on a you know, yeah. seven or eight anyway. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm looking at fingerboard wood and I'm yeah. starting to think that maybe I should try to make my fingerboard match my finish. Let's see. Cause that, that bloody, the bloody and the purple looks sick. Yeah, they're pretty cool. You know, I would try... I kind of like the zebra wood, because we did zebra wood on top, right? Is that where we left it? I yeah, think that's, that's where we left it. Where that it... would be super sick, actually, if you did both of those. The, oh, no, you're still on fingerboard the, woods. The, yeah, yeah, I'm still wood. on fingerboard woods. I'm just, okay. like, indecisive. The black is kind of cool. The oh. Royal, Eb Royal Ebony um, is going to be a nice kind of op option in there. Earthy browns and blacks right I, I definitely don't want to do solid black i'm assuming that this roasted bird's eye maple is going to be the same thing where it's going to be it's going to take forever that's kind of cool take forever what do you mean or like uh if if the 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 you mentioned with the the quilted ebony or whatever that the order people are going to be like come on oh no 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 <laughs> okay no no no, no. no choose, choose the bird's eye actually bird's eye and and, and flame maple ah yeah bro Oh. oh, go back, go back to the bird's yeah, eye. Yeah, 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 bird's eye's better. You're right, you're right. You're Roasted right. bird's eye looks disgusting. <laughs> that's, what, it, that's I've never so, seen a guitar that sick. That's not, not so quite fucking like that. cool. <laughs> that's so oh, cool. Oh, man. 
Oh, oh I knew that's we would so see cool. one that just like locked it in. Wow. That, to me, I mean, that's that gets my vote right there out of what we've seen yeah. so far. Yeah, I think you're right. I think and that's what a cool combo. What? Okay, so we have to look at the back of this guitar though. We have to look at the back. Oh, it looks yeah. so cool. Okay. 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 So the neck uh, wood. That first option there is the one we want to look at okay. and make a decision if we like. So, so the one piece. If you just go to the one piece first, you see I have a few different options. That black limbo would look really. Might look cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Okay, you can't do that on. Yeah, no roasted okay, maple that, on these. That uh, kind of that this the walnut kind of matches the finish. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. The flamed maple on the back. It's a little light. It's a little light for my it, taste. Yeah, for the it is. Guitar. It is a little light. What if so? What if we did the three piece? Oh. I would. I, so for my vote out of the out of the first two options, I, if it's a single piece, I would say black limba. But I'm saying five piece potentially here might be something what in even, here. Oh, seven piece. Okay, that's a little too complicated. I think I like the maple because it, it it looels like the sunburst, like it, it feels. Oh, okay. it, you know what I mean? Like the or, or no, sorry, not the maple. The the purple heart with stripe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I like the purple heart stripe because it looks like a continuation of the finish. On well, the, that, well on, what's on the, the maple? The maple or purple heart? Let's see that one. Uh, uh, or the, I mean, the sorry, the walnut, walnut purple heart. Yeah, I think that's probably it. Cause that then I've now flip it. Let's see the front. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Okay, so would, let me see the black limbo one with the two maple stripes though. Uh, neckwood. Yeah, neckwood. Five piece. Mm. That, okay. Against the orange, that almost looks green. It kind of you know does what I mean? here, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I think I'm gonna. No, the, yeah, you're right. I think I'm gonna go right. with the walnut. I think the walnut purple. I think I just gotta commit. Otherwise, I'm gonna sit here look ch <laughs> choosing the back of the neck. That yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, fingerboard wood. Oh god, that's what we just did. Yeah. Oh, we that did, wait, we, we did that already. Oh, thank God. Oh Bird, my. Bird's eye. So let's take a look at um, inlays, inlay shape. So what your options are here? You got no no dots if you want them. You got staggered offset dots. The no uh, dots is pretty clean. You're good with that? Uh, dude, I'm going to hate it because I'm going to forget what fret I'm on, but it looks so good. You know what I mean? Well, well, so so wait, <laughs> let, before you make that decision, though, go, go. let's see. So for that particular fretboard, look at inlay material. Okay, so let's ch see what the color options are here. So we have... Oh, I got to go back to inlay shape because I got rid of the inlays. Okay, yeah, choose that offset debt. Yeah, there you go. Now, what kind of is run, this? Run these. Abalone? Yeah, it's it's hard to see here, at least in my, you can see just yeah. the, the vague thing here, but you could have red dots on there, right? Like, which kind of, oh, if you're wow. going to keep the red in there, that wouldn't be the worst thing that you ever did. You know, Luma inlay is cool, but it's just kind of like a, a an off off white thing that glows in the dark, right? Yeah. So that. That's not the worst thing. Check the black out just real quick. The black does look cool. The black, that's kind of, that's my first choice probably. Yeah, the black looks cool, but I, I, I'm looking at this abalone and just thinking, I want to know what, the, <laughs> I want to know what that looks like. Here, I, I'll, I'll Google it. I'll, I'll like. Yeah, for abalone, abalone has that kind of blue and green, but like. This oh, is a a wow. royal ebony. This is a royal ebony that I have here. Yeah, that has a couple of uh, abalone dots, offset, staggered. I'm you doing can... the abalone. That looks so. I just okay. I just googled what like abalone <laughs> looks like, and that looks so sick. I gotta do that. Yeah, it's a good option. I gotta do that. Okay, inlay material frets. Oh, we gotta do gold. Yeah. Do we it. got we got yeah. to do gold. Oh, I would too. Yeah, gold. Uh, go with the the center of your. So jumbo versus medium, jumbo. Is that the well, the height or the thickness? That's a good question, and I, 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 somebody out there, purist, might actually be able to answer that better than me. I believe it's more height than it is width. That's that's my take on it. So, um, I think I'll just go with medium. I don't want to be like hurting my fingers if I'm sliding around all the time. If the you, frets are bumpier, it's very small. We're talking about very little, you know. But yes, tongue oil neck. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I think we've covered everything on the actual guitar itself besides the electronics, right? So that those were all the neck yeah. options. We've done the finish. We Talk got the about the logo. logo, right? So logo on this finish is going to be interesting. I since you have gold, yeah, probably on gold. the frets. I would try to yeah, I would do one of the golds. 
maybe even drop shadow because it's yeah over drop that, shadow over that yeah. white yeah yep, yep, yep. kind of stuff definitely drop shadow there's nothing that we can do on the rear side finish oh wait top coat we didn't do top to top coat yeah so your options are gloss or matte and matte's just going to take it down a notch but like I think gloss in this case is probably best. Yeah, because we you want that snow to kind of kind of shine, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's e a little easier to clean too, man. I mean, it's like it's not a big yeah. deal, right? So yeah, pickups. So we could go to pickup model, active passive. Yeah, I mean, we have more options for passive than we do active. We have one option for. Let's for do passive. Active. Let's do passive. You could do hum single single if you wanted that, or hum. You know, it, it won't uh, even let me pick the hum single. Yeah, I'm just gonna do two humbuckers. Yeah, yeah, that's the most common. And for your bridge, a couple options here. Yeah. I believe what you have in your Vader there now is the lithium. Yep. Um, so, and these are kind of in order. So the Kiesel Beryllium is our kind of classic rock, Alnico 2, can do can do metal, but it's it's a little, it's less gainy, all right? Oh, it's, and then you have the Allen yeah. Holdsworth pickup. Yeah. 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 Which is a great pickup. Uh, it's a it's an older design. It's a little noisier than um, some of the newer ones, you know. Just but it's if you're if you're doing a lot of heavy gain stuff and on stage and yeah. getting feedback, it's it's great for lower gain situations. Yeah, better for. I think I I'm an absolute heathen, and I'm never going <laughs> to be playing low gain. <laughs> so yeah, so 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 your real choices here. The lithium is our base level, middle of the road dope ass middle uh, like metal style pickup that can yeah. kind of do a little bit of everything it's a little dry and tight which a lot of people like would compare it to like a lundgren m8 that like mashuga uses or the, the yep. m series and then the illusionist is may is a uh, made for lee mckinney of born of osiris it's uh, it's a lithium that we wound up a little bit and added a little juice in it i actually have fallen fallen in love with that particular guitar i have it in one, two, three, four, I, four, four or five guitars now. Wow. Um, I, I, I love the lithiums. I love the beryllium's, I think, but that it just, it's got enough gain on tap and it, the liquidity um, for like leads and whatnot. I really love it. I love the, the rhythm chunk. Yep. And then you have, then the thorium is our highest gain uh, humbucker, which I have in my eight string, that type yeah. X with all the things. That's a great one too, but uh, it's not for everybody. It's not. It's, yeah. It, it could almost be more trouble to control. Let me uh, if you're doing. Let me a play. Lot of that. Let me play with this because this is probably lithiums. Let me just okay. play on this for a second and just see if Please. I. Let me see if I think that this is like too much gain or not. So this is uh, what is this? A lithium. This is a lithium, and so it's I've like got a 5150 style. Yeah, so I've got input all the way up on this preset that I always use on Archetype Nolly by Neural DSP, and I've got this. My volume is turned all the way down on my interface, and I have a J48 Active DI box. Let me find my my lead guitar preset as well in a second here. That's cool. I, That's kind of middle of the road. Yeah. Because thing. Yeah. I, I feel like I need to actually turn up the input level on my... I actually set this up specifically for, for recording DI guitars. So I think mm. what I actually did... Yeah, if you're I, hearing the DI, that might be the thing to... Well, no, the that. the DI isn't in there, but I, I made this oh. preset specifically to like preserve the raw signal as much as possible. So I think I, ah. I think I actually ended up needing to put like some gain in my signal chain before this amp hits because otherwise I have to turn up my interface and then the producers that I send my DIs to get mad at me. Wait, is this even... Is that even working? Oh yeah, it's working. <laughs> It's because I have that noise gate. It's making it seem like I don't have. I mean, that sounds great. Like, I'm... Man, pickups are like a blind spot for me. Like, I know I don't know enough about pickups. So I almost want to just go with the lithium because I know that this works. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of the wound up lithium from Born of Osiris, but I don't want it to be... Like, if it's slightly too hot, I don't want to have to dial it back, you know? I'd rather have to add some gain to a lithium before it hits my amp rather than needing to, like, dial it back. You know what I mean? You'll have a little more control overall 
with the lithium. Yeah. Right. So I think you're probably smart there. I would I would probably stay with that. Do you do much with the neck pickup? Uh, barely ever. In fact, well, wait. Actually, I think I pickup? I think I had this on the. Oh, there we go, baby. I was gonna say it kind of sounds like a neck yeah. pickup. I mean, I don't know. I'm torn. I'm really torn. But th but that right there lets me know that you you're you're in the right spot. Yeah, that. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I like this pickup a lot. I kind of just want to say, like, you know, if it's not, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, let's just go with the lithium. Let's just go yeah, with the lithium. And I, I think that, yeah, and, and then your for your neck, I think I would go beryllium in the event that you want some mother tone, you want some like clean stuff that you're gonna do interludes with. It'll clean up a little bit more than your than a lithium or any of the other options. Because I feel like even for that, I mean, that rhythm guitar sounds better on that bridge pickup, right? Oh, huge. Yeah. Way yeah. Better. So like, then Crisp. I can, oh, that's actually really smart. I've never thought about doing that. I've never thought about like treating my neck pickup as like my clean. Yeah. Welcome to that. I'm, world. Yeah. I mean, every, nice. I'm yeah. sure everybody does that, but I just, you know, <laughs> I, I pick up a different guitar when I want cleans. You know what I mean? Right. You're like, this uh, one doesn't do it. That one does. Okay. So yeah. So I could do the Brillium. Uh, maybe I do the Holdsworth. That's not the worst idea either. Either one of those would be okay. Well, maybe I go all the way. Maybe I go all the way because, like, if I'm switching to the neck pickup, I better have a damn good reason to switch to the neck pickup. You're, did you already choose gold pole pieces? Because I think you want to do that. I chose the gold frets. I haven't touched the... So pick up color. Yeah, this is option two. You can kind of, if you wanted to do cream <laughs> or white. <laughs> white actually oh, looks pretty The white later. is so cool, dude. <laughs> I wasn't expecting oh, that, actually. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> That's just, oh, dude, and then the yeah. gold. There oh, you go. Yes! There you go. I think we just oh! fucking cracked the code. That's, That's it, dude. Shit. I assume you want a tone control because you could just delete it, delete the tone control and have just a volume and or delete the tone and move it to the volume position or the tone position. Everybody's going to roast me if I delete the tone control. I never use really? the tone. Like, dude, I, I have so many amazing guitarists in my chat right now. I have my my cover song music distributor, Soundrop, uh, Soundrop was in the chat. There's like 15 guitarists in my chat right now that are twice as good as me. <laughs> And if I'm like, yeah, I never use the tone knob, they're going to be like, John, you idiot. <laughs> but bro, if you don't ever use the tone knob, why would you muddy up the waters? Just You're like, right. Get get rid of it. You're Go right. straight to the output and get 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 shredding. Get, get oh, well, okay. I guess I'm misjudging all my guitar friends because they're all immediately saying, get rid of it. Yes. Yeah, get rid of it. <laughs> all right. The people dude, have spoken. One, just the volume. Just, dude, keep it simple. And a switch, man. You're going to be happy. Oh, yes. Okay, so knobs. Knobs. Oh, dude, God. This ab abalone, uh, uh, that one with yep. the abalone. You better go with that one, bro. Or the oh, white one. The, I think it's the abalone because you have to have something that, to tie the abalone that, in. That blue, that blue looks a little out of place, though. Because I feel like the abalone just on these tiny little dots in that in that maple wood or whatever. Yeah. Cause yeah, that, yeah. Okay. But but think about it up close. When you pick that guitar. You're right. You're and right. You look down. You're gonna be like, you're gonna oh the abalone because that abalone yeah. is gonna make you see the other abalone and the other abalone is gonna see that abalone and it's like a little bit of fresh cool drink of water in the middle of that fiery snowstorm. Oh, we gotta do the purple heart. I don't care if it's like not the same red. Like the black is just so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Purple Heart, do it. It's hard for me to tell a difference. I know that that'll look a lot more natural. It's just a natural piece of black wood will look really nice next to, next to that. Um, the purple... The purple does look kind of out of place. Just a little bit. Just enough to where I'm like, eh. You're like one of the most knowledgeable, like guitar building people I've talked to and we're spending all this time just talking about how it looks. <laughs> But dude, that's why this like the the future is fashion, you know? Yeah. Um, because because you, there's a lot of great guitars out there. You and I both know that there's a lot of great yeah. companies out there making a lot of great guitars. There's no that that is that is very clear. Okay? Yeah. It's and it's not like Kiesel is the best at everything forever and ever, but uh, we are really good at most things, and almost no other company has anything like this to do anything like this with. Yeah. So, you know, in this way, 
each person gets to log on and be like, you know what? I'm making my own signature guitar today, bitches. Yeah. And it looks like this. Add to cart. And oh my god. <laughs> Dude, like I'm 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 literally going to just I'm just going to pawn off all my existing guitars to my Twitch chat, dude. <laughs> Like I'm, I'm literally only gonna be playing this guitar. I've never seen one like this, dude. I'm, I'm not kidding. It's like, disgusting. It's, it's so absolutely cool. disgusting. I love it. So when you go to add yeah. the cart here, this is the next thing you probably know. You say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'll get, you know, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Non-returnable. Yeah, yeah. Because right now, right here, it's gonna pop up, and you're gonna have oh, all yeah. this slide of all your things. So you want to take a couple of screenshots so that oh, you have all yes. of this. You can send that to me. I'm, um, I'm getting along your, with the front and the back. I'm getting your face you know? in here too. Yeah, <laughs> posing for the picture. And what what am I missing here? Uh, what am I what are my screenshots just, have? Just your bottom, whatever the I guess you want to flip it to the rear so we can see the back of it, and then maybe get to the bottom of the okay, list. Okay, the tongue oil is the what I. Yeah. Yeah. So the tongue oil is the last thing. Dude, this guitar looks insane. This, I, you, you might be the one that like brings brings out people to actually doing white crackle because of this because it happens like I said but it doesn't happen in like this rustic way it happens in a more like crazy colors way you know right because cool like too, but. I because I don't like that that doesn't do it for me you know what I mean like the 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 pink and blue mixed with the white crackle like that's mm -hmm. cool like if I'm making like a you know like a science fiction metal song and I need something that looks like a, you know, ridiculous. <laughs> like, that's cool. Like, I'm into that. But I'm only into that when I'm making that science fiction metal song and then I'm going to put that guitar on the shelf until I'm... But, like, this... Dude, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the grocery store with this, dude. Like, yes. like this is... This is I'm, I'm just going to always have this strapped to me. It looks so goddamn cool. That's part of why I, I, I was so excited to get with Kiesel. I'm so sick of every guitar looking the same. Right. You know uh. what I mean? I'm so sick of it. And it's like, you know, like, I don't, I don't want to sound like I'm talking shit or anything. You know, I got this beautiful, beautiful John Petrucci Majesty uh, yeah. year, years ago. And it's an amazing guitar. But they all look exactly the same. And it's everybody knows it's John Petrucci's guitar. True. You know, like yeah, everybody exactly. know, like you see this guitar and you're like, oh, he's got the John Petrucci custom. And then it's like, I'm like, you know, the little, little baby internet musician that's, you know, using the John Petrucci car uh, guitar <laughs> because it's like the, the thing to do. But like this, like this is, this is, <laughs> this is my guitar. Okay. Wait, hold on. Before, did we, are bridge options in here? There's no bridge options. Okay. That's a fine. That's fine. It's just a multi-scale. So um, yeah, that's fine. If it was non-multi-scale, you'd have a trim option there. I don't need trim. Who am I kidding? I'm not a lead guitar Bro, player. You don't got no tone knob, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on. Let's be honest here. I'm not going to... Dude, that's, that's just going to... I'm going to spend 10 years of my life tuning if I put a trim on there, dude. That's right. Yeah, no, we, it's not even that bad, actually. Um, it's pretty easy. I'm but, sure it's better than that, but... Hey, first one down. First one down, dude. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, like, just shoot that all into an email and then uh, I'll, I'll shoot you back some build sheets to to approve and with yeah. any final questions and then we'll put her in a hopper we'll get this thing started dude i'm so excited and like i don't like this is you know we had you and i had talked about like the idea uh, can i talk about the 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 custom thing that we're doing since we're we we've locked it all away we are well we don't wouldn't want to talk about anything that we haven't figured out yet kiesel has done some stuff with like Cole Roland, who's a good friend of mine. Right. And right. we had talked about how it's a lot easier for you guys to like do custom guitar models if it's in the builder. Correct. And yep. this is in the builder. You yeah. know? And yeah, no you can go get it right now. Yeah, you can say, you hey, Jonathan Young is the one that made me buy this. That's really important, actually. If you're watching this right now, if you sing this later on his YouTube and you're inspired by this build. Like, please don't be shy when you order your, especially if you're building a, a copycat build, you better tell, say, hey, Jonathan Young is the one that like made me 
like get excited for this guitar so that way we know who who's influencing who you know at some point we're going to want to do something yeah super cool and custom with you yeah and it's going to be important that we know that people are paying attention and it's so. probably going to look like this like i've never seen the white crackle before you know like there's a part of i'm kind of gambling i'm testing fate here you know what i mean the white yeah. crackle might show up and i might be like eh but the white crackle might show up and I might be like, this is my thing. And everybody that gets a white crackle from now until the end of time, they're going to be like, that's that's the Jonathan Young thing. Because yeah. uh, he plays uh, Viking metal in a snowy forest with yeah. fake tree bark. Dude, that's, that's, that's nice. literally going to be my branding <laughs> is going to be this snowstorm looking guitar. Uh, dude, I'm so excited to see what this looks like in person because this literally looks like it's covered in frost. I'm looking forward to see it in, in an HD video in the near future. Yeah. Well, and, you know, I'm probably just going to be driving up to Escondido again to pick it up. I don't want to, you know, I know we're live right now. I don't want to make you feel obligated or anything. But, like, I could I could have a camera out when I pick it up for the first time if, if that yeah. doesn't weird anybody out. Matter of fact, out. I think you should show up on a Wednesday and just jump in on, on Jeff Kiesel's live. Yeah. What he does on Wednesdays and pick your guitar up from Jeff. Yeah, like he that'd would be, be incredible. Hyped to to hang out and talk to you about it so that'd be incredible but you know i just want to say like this is such an incredible experience to be working with you guys not very many people talk about this publicly on the internet but i you know i like to kind of wear that stuff on my sleeve and and be the be the guy to open up about it but like it's tough to find music gear companies that fully appreciate internet musicians i can't put into words how much I appreciate you guys for wanting to work with me at all. I'm not going to name any names, but I've worked with music companies that are like, meh, those stupid YouTubers, they're whatever. They're just doing, you know, dumb stuff on the internet. But the fact that you guys are like, hey, let's get in a call. Let's go on your Twitch stream. Let's build you a guitar. That's the future. And, yeah. you know, this album that I'm working on right now, where every single music video is going to have this guitar in it, uh, hopefully, I mean, we're shooting the mu first music video in a couple weeks here, so we'll see how fast. <laughs> that'll, be, that'll be a little difficult. Yeah. <laughs> um, most of the videos. <laughs> yeah, most of the videos. But uh, but like this music video I'm shooting right now, like you know, or the this album that I'm working on right now, like we're getting the best team in the world. Like there's nothing that separates the internet artists from the mainstream artists. And I'm you know I was just working with. Matt Heafy from Trivium yesterday. Mm. Uh, I'm hoping to get him on this album too. Like we're, you know, we're we're swinging for the fences with this, and I think that a lot of guitar companies are going to realize that they've been sleeping on internet kids. Absolutely, and well, yeah. I'll, I'll just say, I'll, in, in defense of the situation, I mean, I I started one, I started working with like the YouTubers uh, way back when I was at EMG Pickups over a decade ago, and. Yeah. Um, I started. That's when I started working with Cole. Like Cole and yeah. I met a decade ago when he was fresh, like seventeen or something like that. Yeah. And I was like, dude, you. I, I've seen a lot of people, but you've got it, and I know you've got it. Yeah. And I, so I'll send you what you need. And he was like, Are you shitting me? This is my first, you know, ever endorsement. I'm like, dude, like let's just let's hit the ground running because you. I know. I can see it. It's like it, I see the twinkle in your eye. I know. I can tell who you are. Just yeah. Keep going. And the interesting thing about the last couple of years is like everybody became bedroom musicians. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. And so like, and, and guess guess who was prepared? Jonathan Young. Yeah. Paul Roland. You know. Yeah. I mean, like these people knew. Dude. They're, they're like, yo, you guys. Yeah. Are way late to the game. My process didn't change shit. at all. Yeah. Like I I didn't feel like I feel bad saying that, but like when COVID hit, like. My day to day yeah. didn't change at all. I'm very, very blessed to be able to say that. But man, it's like it's ahead of crazy. the curve. Way like light. You guys have been you and Cole years and years and years ahead of the curve, and as are a lot of the other you know musicians that are working in similar formats, right? So in a lot of ways, you had had set up. You, I mean, you were, you guys could have flipped your script and said okay we're we're counseling uh dinosaur yeah. musicians well we now, tried and you were charging you six hundred dollars Man, many of us Twitch. tried to do that and or many of us tried to get signed to record labels or, or whatever sure. and when we did that most of the record labels were like 
you're trying to post a YouTube video every week? Fuck Ooh. off. We're not going to let you do that. And it's like, okay, well, then we're not going to stay in this record deal. The music industry is still catching up to that. And uh, and ironically, because we were kind of thrown out of the thrown out of the house by a lot of these big companies, these big record deals or record labels, you know, sponsorships, whatever that like, you know, it's kind of a joke to like, oh, Nord VPN, Raid Shadow Legends sponsorships on your, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and that's kind of what we're dealing with on the internet. But it's like, ironically, needing to, to, to climb that mountain alone, guys like me and Cole, you're talking to half of the Jonathan Young business department. You don't have to ask my label permission to post a picture of me. You can just text me. You know what I mean? Right. Like you don't have to ask my management or anybody. Like th there's no one stopping you from just being like, hey, John, let's do this. Let's do it next week. Let's do, like w this call that we we're doing right now. You texted you me like last night. Yeah, it was like last two night. Uh, like last night or two days ago. You were like, "Hey, do you yeah. want to like do a Twitch stream and, and buy your <laughs> or uh, build your first custom guitar?" I was like, "Yeah, let's do it tomorrow." It's like, <laughs> yeah, I I work with signed label musicians all the time. The only ones that can do that are the ones that have worked out some kind of special special arrangement with their labels where they're allowed to go play on the playground with the you know, the YouTube kids or whatever. It's crazy, man. But I feel so fortunate to be able to do this with you guys. And this guitar looks incredible. So amazing, dude. I'm and so happy with what happened here. Yeah, man. Wow. Because I came into this with like, I had I had a bunch of these pictures that I was like, eh, you know, I like that, you know, I had all these different, I had all these different guitars that I liked and none of them look as cool as this one. <laughs> <laughs> and those are all those are all like cool guitars. Man. Well, I would have helped you build yeah, any of them. And but, that's uh, what I mean is that these are all some of the most beautiful guitars I've ever seen in my life, but they're not the Jonathan Young Snowstorm. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, so, I'm so hyped on this. Well, yeah. man, yeah, I, it's been awesome, and I do appreciate uh, the opportunity to like hang with you and, and, and go through this because it's same uh, to you, man. Man, same it's to you. Like, I can't wait to see what you do with it. I love where the direction that you're headed right now with this new music. Once we get this one in and it's signed, sealed, and it's in motion, in another week or two, let's have another session. We'll we'll build a second guitar. Like, yeah, and, and we'll, let's so we'll do get another it. one. You know? The follow up. At some point, I'm gonna want an Evertune that's mm -hmm. similar to this. Probably with us, so I wouldn't be able to do the fan frets. There's no Evertune for headless yet. Okay. Well, so, I like Evertune, but I think I like Headless more than Evertune. What, so, but at some point, I'll get an Evertune with a head, so that I can track rhythm guitars without yeah. needing to. And maybe, maybe, maybe it's closer to the thing that you showed me today. Maybe we do an Aries because yeah. Aries is one of the one of the models that we can do an Evertune on. So, yep. Uh, maybe we go back and we build that nice, cool beveled stripe yeah. one. You know, something closer to that. Yeah. So I want that, and at some point, I'm gonna need like. Every now and then I pull out a guitar that has a tremolo on it when I'm feeling a little bit, when I'm feeling like I want to embarrass myself a little bit, I pull hey, out a guitar all, with a tremolo. <laughs> we, we all get frisky now and again, yeah. so it's cool. Yeah, and I want to put you guys to work on an acoustic at, at some point too. Oh, let's do that. That'll be fun. Let, that, maybe that could be the next call because this is so cool. Yeah, and we can do fan fret seven string. Oh, wow. Or eight string. Could I do? Could I do baritone? Well, technically, I don't. That's a good question. Maybe I'll have to. Because I, I mean, I could always do seven string and just chop off the like, literally take off one string, you know. But yeah, because it would yeah, main. So, it would mainly just be the scale length. It would mainly definitely, just be the scale definitely length. seven string is an option. Fan fret is an option. I'm not sure if uh, I think that the seven and eight string might be only fan fret. That's but fine. We can look but into that, and, the reason, and you can decorate it pretty yeah, well. Yeah, you because know, the pretty, reason I bring it up is because, I mean, you mentioned, before we started streaming, you you mentioned that I have kind of a low voice. And, yes, uh, you do. <laughs> and, and because of that, I realized this past year that I need to be playing either a baritone or a seven-string acoustic guitar whenever mm -hmm. I do acoustic, because my voice is a fifth lower than everybody else's voice. I can't even tell you. This is one of the only baritone guitar, acoustic guitars that I could find on the entire goddamn internet. It's like a $500 beater. I've, I've already chipped the crap. Like this is, I don't even know what this is. This is probably like donut frosting or something. <laughs> like this is literally like one of the cheapest guitars I own. 
and I cannot find any acoustic guitars that go deep enough for my voice. So I'm wow. so excited to be able to 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 play around with this. Uh, uh, well, with... that's that's exciting because it means we get to do this fairly often in the right. near future. Hang out and figure out what is best because yeah. I think it's, it's these are fact finding missions, you know, yeah. that we that we go through because as it, and it helps uh, because there's a handful of options that won't be listed in the builder that I will be able to go back and say, hey, uh, Jonathan wants to do X, Y, and Z, and you know, Jeff or uh, one of the painters will be like, um, we can do this, but we can't do that, right? right. Like on a, we'll make an exception for him because he's fucking cool and he's got a low voice, <laughs> and, you know. Is it so, possible to do that that uh, white crackle on on an acoustic? Uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty sure, pretty sure, bro. Dude, I'm thinking we just spec out this pretty much the same <laughs> way as we did that last one, and Oof, just that'll be fun, you know. Yeah. Anyway, I think I think so. We'll 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 cross that bridge yeah, yeah, when we yeah. get to it. But we'll I, I, I like that idea. I like where you're going with this. Maybe, yeah. maybe it's a little bit of a deviation so that it yeah. like, my it's got a sound hole in it. So I mean, there. Of course, a right of there. course. Well, man, dude, thank you so much for your time. And like, yeah. again, um, if you don't mind, I'll plug my stuff again real quick. Yeah, say, and, um, and I'll plug Kiesel as well once you're done, done uh, plugging your own stuff. If you like hearing uh, guitar players talk about guitar stuff and music and life stuff, my podcast is Players Pick Podcast. And you can, you know, our Instagram is is available to follow um, at Players Pick Podcast. Like a couple of recent podcasts are like Steve Vai, I've got Josh Travis with the new nine string, Sophie Lloyd, Paul Gilbert, and Ingve Malmstein on recently. And they wow. those episodes are phenomenal. They're interesting people. And I'll tell you, I'm not a huge Ingve Malmstein fan, but um I got the I got the other opportunity to talk to him and I walked away from the the conversation going, I kinda like that guy I like a lot yeah. more than I thought I liked that guy. Yeah. It was kind of interesting, you know? So you might get that vibe too from some of these conversations. But uh older ones have Toast and Abasi. I mean, Polyphia guys were my very first episode number oh, wow. one. So if I love those guys. Polyphia, very yeah. cool cats. I saw um, them live in San Diego right before COVID or a, a year or two before COVID. Yeah. So yeah, there's that, you know, and you can try find me uh personally on on Instagram at uh at C three 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 J. You can find me awesome. that way, Chris Johnson with a Y, C H R Y S. So, and again, uh, thanks, Jonathan. All I did is I just clicked on model oh, acoustic, shit. and it's already there. <laughs> yes, dude, it's, it's already dude, it's, like it's already right. there. <laughs> I, guess, I, I guess it's just happening. That's what we're doing now. This is how we live. <laughs> okay, I can just know? I can just screenshot it. I can just screenshot yeah. it so that That's we know right. what it would look like, and then we're done. We're done. We're good. Yeah, yeah, we've got yeah. it. We we did twice as many guitars as we thought we would today. <laughs> hey man, two for one, two for one. Yeah, two for one, dude. Amazing. And yeah. uh, of course, follow Kiesel Guitars on Instagram. I followed right after we started. To, I I had known about Kiesel Guitars for a while, but I'll admit I did not follow them on Instagram until we started talking about doing this deal to do a custom guitar. And I started getting angry because my whole feed was just guitars that made me want to pull out my wallet. It was like every single day I would check Instagram and Instagram started to notice too. Instagram was like, hmm, the only posts that John is staring at are these beautiful Kiesel guitars. Let's just only show him that. So now every yep. time I check Instagram, it's just, it's nothing but Kiesel. Oh man, Instagram so. recognizes that I look at like cute animals. Too oh much. yeah. And so now I have all the cute, I have owls and kittens and puppies. Yep. That's the I, best way to use the internet is make sure that if, if, if they're going to detect what you like, make sure that it's puppies. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a pure serotonin hit. And again, thank you so much. I got to split. Go on for Thursdays. it. Yep. <laughs> it's got to happen. I got to go, right, man. I got to go build some fake trees in my garage. Do it, dude. <laughs> Get that fake bark and put it into action. Yeah. Uh, all right, man. Thanks so much, Jonathan. I'll talk to you real soon. Yes. Thank you so much, Chris. It was so good uh, talking to you, and we'll do this again soon. Sounds good, brother. Awesome. Peace. Later. This is the Jonathan Young custom electric that I built. The, the Jonathan Young custom electric guitar that I just spent an hour, two hours building. Absolutely insane looking guitar. I can't wait. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. They loaned me this guitar, which is amazing. There's so many incredible guitarists in the chat right now. Yeah, it looks like a blizzard. That's what we were saying, too. I found out last week that Cole McGinnis is, like, one of the fastest shredders on, on uh, that side of the Atlantic, and he just decided to stop playing guitar. What's up with that, Colm?
I'm think like I almost stopped playing guitar because I wasn't fast enough, and you stopped playing guitar despite being. This pisses me off. Colm's always like, oh, John, you're so talented and cool. And then Colm's like, yeah, I'm one of the fastest guitar players and vers mo one of the most versatile singers on the internet. Check out Colm McGinnis if you haven't, everybody. One Colm McGinnis doesn't even realize that he's going to absolutely break the internet open with his, his musicianship skills. I am going to call it quits in the stream. I am hungry. And my fake trees just got here. We'll do this again soon. I will stream more very soon, hopefully. Uh, but I do need to eat. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jonathan Young. I'll see you next time.